for our next news special report. Tonight, we face a celestial challenge like no other. A massive solar flare has unleashed chaos, causing a significant radio blackout and sending a geomagnetic storm barreling towards Earth. This isn't just a distant space phenomenon, it's a direct threat to our way of life. Think about it, our communication, navigation, even our power grid, all potentially in the crosshairs of this solar tempest. This story is more than a report. It's a wake-up call to the fragility of our modern world, a world teetering on the edge of technological disruption. Stay with us as we uncover the stark realities and unseen dangers lurking from above. You don't want to miss my final thoughts revealing why this is a pivotal moment for every American. This is a special report you simply cannot afford to miss. Now, Before we dive deeper into our special report on the looming geomagnetic storm, let me share something crucial. Just as we rely on accurate, unfiltered news in these trying times, similarly, we need tools that expose the biases in media. And that is where ground news comes in. This innovative app and website are vital for understanding the true narrative, especially in scenarios like our current space weather crisis. And what's interesting is ground news reveals how different news outlets cover the same story in their blind spot feed. This is a really unique thing. I've never seen any outlet do something like this. Uh, it's definitely a resource for me. Now, what it does is it reveals how different news outlets cover the same story, giving you a clear picture. For example, take the recent Pentagon budget for diversity initiatives. Some media completely ignored it, while others highlighted it. It's a stark reminder of why we need ground news to navigate the media landscape. Check out Ground News for a 40% discount on unlimited access at ground.news slash Next news. The link is down below. Just tap more below the video and it'll take you right there. Take action. Now, we're currently at a critical juncture where our reliance on technology faces a formidable threat from the cosmos. A recent solar flare, one of the strongest in recent times, has already caused a high frequency radio blackout, but that is just the beginning. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Space Weather Prediction Center has now issued a stark warning. A geomagnetic storm is hurling towards Earth with potential consequences far beyond what we usually consider. First, let's understand what exactly is happening. On Tuesday, an M9.8 class solar flare erupted from the sun, peaking at 1.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. The scale of the event was massive. It affected a significant portion of the eastern South Pacific Ocean. The solar flare, originating from a sunspot group near the sun's central meridian, isn't an isolated event. It's part of a larger pattern of solar activity that could lead to more M-class and even X-class flares, the latter being the most powerful kind. Now, these solar flares are not just spectacular shows of nature's power. They have real tangible effects on our planet. A solar flare, particularly of this magnitude, can disrupt communications and navigation systems as it did with the recent radio blackout. But the more significant concern is the coronal mass ejections associated with these flares. CMEs, as they're called, are vast expulsions of plasma and magnetic field from the sun's atmosphere, and they can travel quickly through space, reaching Earth and interacting with its magnetosphere. Now, while these CMEs collide with Earth's magnetic field, they can cause geomagnetic storms, and the intensity of these storms can vary, but they have the potential to disrupt satellites, affect human space exploration, and even impact aviation and electric power systems. The immediate visual effect of these storms is often the appearance of the northern lights or aurora borealis, typically confined to northern latitudes, but sometimes visible much further during these intense storms. As we speak, multiple CMEs are on their way to Earth following the recent solar flares. These are expected to interact with the Earth's magnetosphere by Thursday and Friday morning, prompting the Space Weather Prediction Center to issue geomagnetic storm watches for these dates. The expectation is that we could see storm levels ranging from G1 to G2 and possibly even G3 conditions, which would significantly increase the likelihood of impacts to Earth. So let's break down what this means for you and me. A G1 storm, while minor, can still affect satellite operations and power grids. A G2 storm is more severe with potential impacts on spacecraft operations and the accuracy of GPS systems. At a G3 level, we're looking at possible disruptions in satellite-based navigation and low-frequency radio navigation systems. 
While the general public might not feel these effects directly, the implications for our infrastructure and emergency services are profound. Let's take a moment to see firsthand the work of the Space Weather Prediction Center. Now, this center is our first line of defense, constantly monitoring the sun and predicting when these solar events might impact our planet. And their work is crucial in preparing us for potential disruptions. Watch. The Space Weather Prediction Center is an operational center within the National Weather Service and is one of two National Weather Service forecast offices located in Boulder, Colorado. The Space Weather Prediction Forecast Office is staffed 24 by 7 every day of the year and its forecasters monitor the sun for space weather phenomenon and provide forecasts and warnings of space weather threats so users can mitigate impacts. So what are they looking for? There are many types of space weather events. However, three space weather related storms are of particular note. Solar flares, geomagnetic storms, and radiation storms. These phenomenon all happen with increased frequency and stronger intensity as the sun's magnetic field becomes more chaotic, but less often as the sun's magnetic field stabilizes. This fluctuation in the sun is called the solar cycle and is about 11 years in length, having both a minimum and maximum of activity. More frequently, in and around solar maximum, localized strong magnetic fields may reveal themselves visibly as sunspots. When these magnetic fields become too stressed, they may instantly reconnect into less stressful alignments, causing sudden bursts of enormous amounts of electromagnetic energy, known as solar flares. Geomagnetic storms are disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field, usually caused by dramatic changes in the continuous outflow of particles and plasma streaming from the sun, called the solar wind. The more intense geomagnetic storms are, usually a result of explosive releases of billions of tons of solar material into space called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. CMEs also carry a strong embedded magnetic field along with them, furthering potential interactions with Earth's magnetic field and possibly leading to more intense geomagnetic storms. CMEs can reach Earth in as quick as 18 hours, but usually they arrive in two to four days. Radiation storms may take place when highly energetic protons suddenly accelerate along magnetic field lines stretching out from the sun into space. These storms are often associated with solar flares and CMEs and can reach Earth in as quick as tens of minutes. Most of us never notice space weather events because we are very well protected by our atmosphere and magnetosphere. So why does Space Weather Prediction Camp Center forecast space weather? Because these types of space weather storms may impact our navigation technologies, radio communication, satellites, aviation, and spaceflight, and potentially the electrical power grid. More specific examples include outside the atmosphere Astronauts' health may be severely affected by radiation storms. GPS can become less accurate. Satellites can be bombarded with ions and negatively impact onboard electronics. Certain radio bands can experience blackout conditions, making communication difficult or impossible for pilots and emergency workers. Even the power grid could become overwhelmed due to a sudden increase in current caused by severe or extreme geomagnetic storms. However, with warnings from the Space Weather Prediction Center, precautions and other protective measures may be taken in advance. Now returning to the current situation, it's essential to understand the rarity and seriousness of these events. While solar flares and CMEs are common occurrences in the grand scheme of the universe, it's the intensity and the direct impact on Earth that make this particular situation alarming. Last time we witnessed geomagnetic storms in this scale was years ago, and the technological landscape has significantly changed since then. The reality is our world has never been more dependent on technology. From GPS systems guiding our vehicles to satellites transmitting critical communication signals, the potential disruption from this geomagnetic storm could have far-reaching effects. 
It's a sobering reminder of the vulnerability in the face of nature's might. Amidst these developments, the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center continues to provide timely updates, and they're using advanced satellite technology to track these solar events and predict their impact on Earth. This real-time data is crucial for spacecraft operators and power providers, allowing them to prepare and mitigate potential impacts. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. Staying informed is more critical now than ever as we navigate these uncertain times. Understanding the dynamics of space weather and its impact on our daily lives is vital. By subscribing, you're ensuring that you're always in the know about these and other critical developments. In closing, tonight's report isn't just about a solar flare or a geomagnetic storm. It's a stark reminder of our vulnerability in this vast universe. As a republic, we pride ourselves on resilience and innovation. Yet here we are, facing a threat from space that could disrupt the very foundations of our modern society. This story matters to every American because it underscores the importance of being prepared, of understanding the forces beyond our control that can impact our daily lives. It's a call to appreciate and invest in the technologies and systems that keep us safe and connected. We must recognize our place in this larger cosmic narrative and respond with the wisdom and caution it demands. As we look to the skies, Let's also look inward to ensure that our society, our infrastructure, and our values are robust enough to withstand whatever challenges the universe throws our way. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay prepared. This is Gary Franchi signing off. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.